hello subendra how are you doing hello dennis i am working fine how are you i am i'm good i'm good thank you so subendra tell me something about yourself like uh, uh, i first of all are you nervous or are you you know really happy how are you feeling exactly yeah. the first ms session you as you told you, you're going live for the first time right yeah so how are you feeling absolutely i'm very happy but a little bit nervousness is there because uh, never been into a live session <laughs> but that's fine no problem no problem going to be very easy for both of us because we just going to you know explore and you know explore more about the journey you had about neuron school basically things that you already know we're going to speak for everyone because uh ama sessions are very important for the people who actually have a lot of doubts uh and you know that they hopefully visit the videos ama sessions and get their doubts clear so basically just a transparent journey about uh about your journey about your journey with neuron school right cool hmm. so uh tell me shubendra how did you like from where did you hear about neuron school and uh, what gave you the motivation to join it uh so then is what happened is uh, i am a, first of all i tell you i am a, a non technical student i have done bachelor of arts uh, and i passed in 2021 so uh, i was trying to get a government job from uh, last two three years so government job i was not able to crack and uh, like so what happened is i was searching youtube uh, here and there uh, in the last year i think in march so i uh, i saw a video of uh, uh, like uh, directly of siddharth sir i saw a video and he was telling about newton school uh, what are the benefits and pros of joining a newton school so when i saw those videos uh, uh, like uh, uh, one of that video uh, then it came to my mind like uh, i can join uh, directly to an it field uh, enter in it field in 6 months of uh, course and without giving any money so because money was a big problem so even my uh, family didn't was not able to support me that much uh, uh, in this process so i thought like this is the best so i joined from there got it cool so uh, one more thing i wanted to ask you uh, how did you like it when you started learning things about neuron so as you told that uh, you are from an arts background right so right. when you started learning about tech did you have any prior experience or did you did you start from scratch and when you did how did you feel about you know learning new things in tech so for me it was zero or you can say uh, below the zero whatever you can say i uh, i have wrote in my one of my linkedin uh, uh, like uh, one of post that uh, actually i didn't i have never heard the word even html word uh, the full form of html i don't, didn't knew anything what is front end what is back end i didn't know anything ha one thing is that uh, in the march itself uh, when i saw the video of sir uh, just 5 10 days before i started with html because i wanted to enter this field from long time back so i started a little bit of html and css and i applied to newton school in march and my uh, like uh, my batch was from me so i have to give a test in may so in between these two months i studied a little and then when i joined the newton school uh, the starting phase was little difficult because uh, we have data structure in the starting so data structure is not easy and that too for me it was very difficult but one thing uh, in the starting i was not able to do assignments uh, even not able to catch up with the teachers uh, like the trainer but the good thing was we have a mentor so uh, i tried to solve questions easy level like array and strings i was able to get then slowly slowly uh, newton school was progressing little away a little ahead of me so when they were on hash map then i understood strings so little bit i was bad but slowly slowly i kept on going even my instructor told me to follow lead code and geeks for geeks so from there i uh, slowly started uh, moving ahead so it was dsc was tough and uh, after dsa uh, like i i have uh, given the mock interviews of dsa uh, but Uh, like not very successful but yeah easy level medium level i was able to pass and then slowly i uh, went to javascript and all got it got it seems like an interesting journey uh, starting from scratch <laughs> yeah right very scratch very scratch but that's that's great that that can be an inspiration that can be inspiration for a lot of people who are planning to 
uh, change their career in tech don't you think yeah i think so i i i'll not praise myself but i think so that <laughs> i think so that even uh, uh, i am on very active on linkedin so many of the people directly come to me like students like uh, from ba from bsc or bcom they tell me to like whether i should, I should join newton school or not i tell them you i recommend them 100 200% you join newton school yeah, uh, yeah because uh, we have to work harder than ourselves newton school uh, helps us all the way all the process they help us they teach us you have doubt you ask them and you have to work hard without working hard we cannot get success here so you mentioned that uh, you know you had some issues in the beginning in the initial stages of assignments and things like that and you told us that your mentors really helped you to get through that so how exactly did the mentors help you and uh, what are the things that they specifically helped you in uh, you know there are people who are uh, have some strong grasping ability uh, some people are not very you know good at coping up with like cope in them so how do they exactly help and what are the things that they are really good at mentors uh so what happened with me is like uh, out of those people like who are very good and like who take slow so i take everything slow in my mind it takes time for me to uh, so what happened is uh, when i joined the uh, like when data structure was going from the start so i was assigned a fixed mentor after 10 5 days so like so what happened is like uh, in the session is whenever i got uh, like uh, whenever a session was told so uh, next day i tried to solve few questions on that specific session in the assignment so if the assignment was open on that topic i tried to solve it but if i got the solution uh, then it is fine if i was not able to solve it then i directly told my mentor so he told me that uh, this is not a good way first you go to stack overflow you go to google you search everywhere and then if you don't get it so nearly every time when i searched google and then stack overflow and all these things so what happened is uh, i got a uh, understanding of what the question is saying and uh, 75 60% of uh, the code i was able to write myself and after that when i was stuck somewhere so my mentor helped me at all those places where i was stuck he never wrote a code for me which is uh, even not good but he told me what is the problem and uh, what where are you getting it wrong and in the data structure like uh, mentors were very helpful like i think they are very helpful in the data structure part because mm-hmm. after that javascript and all uh, html css it up, depends upon your designing idea your mind but data structure he helped me a lot even lead code uh, like in the lead code i was able to solve many questions uh, mm-hmm. and uh, sometimes i asked my trainer also uh, like our instructor and the and the mentor that uh, the main thing is like Uh, till which level i should study in lead code because sometimes its uh, questions are very high level uh, so he told me easy level you can study so questions he told me like uh, which type of questions i should try even some questions in assignment uh, if uh, he told me uh, for example like this type of question is important in arrays even if this question is not given in your assignment you practice it yourself so these are the uh, ways like mentors are very helpful like absolutely helpful yeah good cool that sounds really amazing that you have you know you there was there was someone who really helped you and made you what you are right now in a lot of a lot of things you were helped uh, what about mock interviews like uh, what are the difference before giving mock interviews and after giving mock interviews so how many mock interviews did you give in the first place? uh i think i gave nearly 35 to 40 mock interviews 35 to 40 mock interviews So, what do you think that? Uh, how did it transform you into you know when you actually walk into uh, you know giving an actual interview? Job? Mm-hmm. An actual interview. How did it help transform you? Like, uh, so, as Dhruvi said, as I told you that I started from scratch. So, yes. the guys who are starting from scratch and if they are giving uh, giving less mock interviews, they are not going to succeed. We have to give a lot of mock interviews. so when i started with my first mock interview uh, not only first first four five mock interviews i was feeling like i was going on a war because i was very much tensed very much stressed uh, but with regular mock interviews i realized that this is a part of process we have to give it and 
the mock interviews are nearly nearly exactly same as uh, it is in the company only difference it can be like mock interview can be on a specific topic and okay. interviews can be on more topics so okay. mock interview is exactly like a, like a real company interview and we have to give it more every time the mock interview happens we get a feedback uh, written feedback so in the written feedback all the interviewers write what questions they ask and which questions we uh, gave the answers good which questions we didn't give the answer good so those questions which i was not able to do good so i wrote those questions on my on some paper and then i specifically specifically practice those questions like search in the google try to solve one or two type that type of questions so that next time when i gave the interview so i did better and uh, actually i, I passed uh, for example like hard level uh, javascript i passed i gave eight interviews then i passed the uh, hard level or i think nine or 10 i gave to pass the hard level but it was helpful the more uh, like failure is is a part of success is a part of yeah, yeah correct when you fail a lot of times you win for the thing that you actually want that's yes something that is even i have been through so that's that's really inspiring and i think that and i can see while while you're talking as you told that your first time you're going live but the way you're talking and the way your presence is on camera i can really see that you're very confident uh i think you have a lot of confidence in you uh, thank you Dan. so <laughs> so how did you like when you got your first job with newton school so what what was the feeling what what did you go through uh that feeling i cannot tell <laughs> that feeling is uh, out of the mind i was uh, like i i will tell myself uh, like some people are hearing him here so i will tell myself i was not a successful person in my entire life i have failed i have prepared for iit exams i failed i sometimes feel like crying i prepared for iit exams i failed then i prepared for uh, apart like after that i prepared for government exams 3 years i gave it to that because uh, i'll tell you in up bihar area like i am from that, that area so up bihar area uh, parents are like that society is like that government job is everything you give government uh, even if you earn 20000 in government uh, job and 80000 in uh, private they will uh, think like government job is everything so they will not treat you well sometimes so mm-hmm. but uh, after 3 years when i got uh, in 6 months or 6 months 20 days 25 days like this much was time uh, when i got a job so when i got a job i was uh, like out of my world uh, even i uh, like uh, i took Two three days more uh, till I get uh, placed. Like a company takes me. Uh, like I get onboarded. Then I told my father and mother. I didn't tell them before because I thought let it be hundred percent. So uh, the best thing I wanted to do, like I wanted to like have a bike and all that. I just bought it in two three months and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so everything, really- everything was like superb. Even my family is. Uh, after 2 3 months when i got salary regularly then my family thought yeah he has got a job now <laughs> yeah. they were also very happy that that's really amazing uh, that i felt happy when you're talking about all this because that's something uh, which i I've, i've taken a lot of ama sessions offline and online and when people talk about the feeling when they have when they get their first job is so good and that's very genuine so very that's genuine. really beautiful so uh, so we have all some viewers and i think that um, after the ama session is there on the youtube channel we get a more views so there are people who are going to watch this later as well for the people who have doubts uh, for the people who want to know what how the process is uh, and who are thinking of joining you know getting into the tech industry uh, sorry getting into the tech world and uh, starting get, starting a new tech career what would you like to say to them uh, a piece of advice for them uh like i told you already like in linkedin uh, for me like after 10 to 12 13 14 uh, 12 to 12 people i recommended my good friends i recommended for newton school because i saw that hard work you have to do but newton school is going to support you in every place so i told my many of my friends many of people on linkedin also come so i tell them to join newton school 
so what actually i'll tell you is wherever you go like uh, if you are planned 100% planned you will going to join an it field mm. you uh, and you are going to start from scratch or you are from a, a, like a good engineering college or newton school is the best place to join because uh, if you have doubt they will help you they will teach you they will uh, keep on pressurizing you uh, like not pressurizing that means i mean pressure uh, giving you pushing you so what happened uh, the uh, one more important thing that i would like to tell about newton school is that uh, after uh, mock interviews are happening in that time and the companies are going to come very soon uh, placement pre placement process in that time we get regular calls from the support they call mm -hmm. us you have a mock interview tomorrow you have a mock interview you, uh, we have already scheduled you have to give it so that time i've had a problem after 3 to 4 months also i had a bad habit of sleeping in afternoon and i uh, i'll tell you this uh, and i slept for 2 3 hours in afternoon at any cost i was sleeping it from last 4 5 years and i did i was not able to control that and mm -hmm. uh, mostly mock interviews and interviews happened in afternoon uh, like from mm -hmm. 10 to 4 5 something mm -hmm. so what happened is with the regular uh, pushing like you have a mock interview you have to give tomorrow anyhow you have to pass this level uh, they told us they pushed us to work hard so that thing uh, that one thing helped me more is like i became more active so in the last 3 okay. months i worked the most i have ever worked in my entire life last mm -hmm. 3 months i got the job so i was working very hard so this regular support people who are calling from uh, like for a pre placement placement process that uh, your company is coming your your uh, company like interview has been booked so they also helped me a lot so that uh, bad habit also uh, got removed from my life and this is helping me in the job itself because i cannot see <laughs> in job so uh, so newton school uh, i will I, like anyone who is uh, thinking of this uh, entering into the it field i will tell you you join newton school that will be the best step you will take in your entire life and after you get a job then you will say that i was saying correct that's i i really believe that and i hope that people watch this and get inspired because you have a really inspiring so story that some i think there's a comment in the youtube uh, live chat as well uh, that's a really you have a really inspiring st uh, story and I really think that people will, and I hope that people will get inspired and take the first first step towards tech. Uh, yes, Dennis. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Dennis, I was I was telling you this that uh, from family which I come, we are mm -hmm. the, like uh, lower middle class, or you can say like we are those people. I never ever imagined in my entire life that I can. Uh, at that time, right, I can uh, fly by plane. That is happening now. Uh, I'm I like I presently I'm in Chennai, so my base location is Chennai for the company. So few days later, I'm going to my home back, so I can fly in the plane. Uh, like all those things, I can believe, what, which was not possible for me. Even my company is uh, planning to take me like uh, for some uh, offsite somewhere in outside India, whatever. So all these things were impossible for me to believe it is possible all because of newton school they helped me when i needed the most so yeah, i'm really, really thankful for them yeah. at the end what we want is that you are happy right yes i'm very happy that's that's it <laughs> cool it was a really nice session uh Chubendra. i really like talking to you uh discussing uh your journey with Newton School, and as I as I'm going to say it again, I think a lot of people are going to inspire and take the first step first step towards tech because of you. Thank you. Cool. No problem. Uh, bye, Shubhendra. It was a really nice session. Thank you.